Could we have a uh, government shutdown this weekend? Well, time is getting kind of precious here. Uh, onto the spending bill is kind of on the line here. Big differences between the parties, how to handle it. Senator John Barrasso, kind enough to join us, the Wyoming Republican and the Senate GOP Conference Chair. <laughs> Senator, good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Where do things stand now? Well, we need a couple of things. One is we need to end this wasteful Washington spending, and at the same time, we need to fund the government. So there are a couple of ways to do it, but a government shutdown isn't going to happen. The thing with all of this wasteful spending, and you've seen a lot of it in the last two years, is it's brought us these record numbers, 40-year high inflation. You saw the president talk about it today. Since he's been in office, prices are up 13.9 percent overall. It's going to be the most expensive Christmas in history in terms of gifts, in terms of food, even in terms of decorations. So when the president was asked today about when he thought prices would get back to normal, he said, hopefully at the end of next year. Neil, Joe Biden is turning into the Grinch that stole Christmas. He says the numbers are improving. A lot of people interpreted the latest retail inflation report as proof of that. You're quite right. They're still bad. And they still have a seven in front of them to show that we're still running a seven percent clip. So it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. But that is adding to government spending and the debt and all that. So it's made your job a lot more difficult, hasn't it? Well, it has. And when we take a look at funding the government and the options, I mean, to me as a conservative, the thing that bothers me and gets me most angry is we're neither the ways that we're looking at doing it are the right way to do it. The right way is appropriation bills that people read and then amend and vote on and pass. But Chuck Schumer hasn't brought a single appropriation bill to the floor this year. So we're taking a look at different options. One is kind of kicking the can down the road a bit into next year. The other is with this what they call an omnibus bill, a larger spending bill. The advantage of the bigger bill is it includes the military things that our, that our Army and Navy and others need for defense. Kicking the can down the road, the, the value of doing that is then you get to a Republican House next year. So hopefully could get this reckless spending better under control. But th that's what we're looking at, the, the, the inflation that is hitting people. Their savings are at an all-time low. Credit card borrowing is up. Credit card rates are up. And for the American people, the people back home in Wyoming, and I was at the grocery store over the weekend, they just feel that there is no end in sight, Neil. Um, well, I have you, sir. We're just learning that uh, the, the former FTX uh, chief, uh, Sam Beckman fried is going to be in the Bahama jail until at least February 8th. His supposed testimony before the House Financial Services Committee was disrupted by his arrest yesterday. Democrats said Republicans are angry. Are you? Well, we need to see what happened here. I mean, I have been skeptical of this whole crypto effort from the beginning. You know, I'm in the camp, Warren Buffett, in terms of whether this makes sense or not. Is it really rat poison on steroids? I'm very conservative as an investor, but I think we need to see what really has happened here. What is the value? Is there any? It does look like there is some fraud, mismanagement, illegality, all of those things. Uh, innocent people who have been taken in by this. We need to get to the body, this, bottom of this. We need accountability, and we need to get him in front of Congress when he's released from jail come February. Meanwhile, very quickly, sir, while I have you, Joe Manchin says he's not about to lead the Democrats anytime soon, but he seems to be holding out the possibility. What do you think of that? Um, Joe Manchin's a Democrat, it's not going to change parties. Um, I've tried to encourage him to become a Republican, not going to happen. He's going to be entering this election year, the 2022 phase, as the most vulnerable, endangered Democrat in the Senate. Remember, he was the consequential vote that allowed them to pass the reckless tax and spending bill that got us 87,000 new IRS agents. Look, He's not as radical as the radical bunch of Democrats, but he's decided that he, that's the bed that he's decided to lie in. Senator, thank you very, very much. I threw a lot at you there. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a and safe one. Thank you again.